Okay, this video will be how to load a new item that is not currently in the cabinet into the cabinet. So first, we're going to log on and we are going to go to inventory menu and then modify bin. There are a couple of different types of pockets that new medications can be loaded into. We can put them either on a shelf or in one of three different types of pockets that we'll go over in a second. We'll start with the shelf. Once you're in the modified bin menu, you have access to open up all the doors and also all of the pockets by clicking the buttons. This is so you can find an empty spot in which to put the new medication. So if we are going to assign a medication to this pocket here, You select the pocket, it tells us that this bin is empty, and now we are going to assign an item. You then pick the item you want to assign, and that item is now assigned to this particular pocket. This barcode then needs to be assigned to that pocket. In order to make that assignment from this same screen, you take the scanner and you scan the pocket or the area that you just loaded. Scan it once and you can see the screen. Scan the same barcode again to verify and now that particular pocket has a barcode assigned to it. You will also note that the current PAR level is zero. This will mean that this drug will never be refilled so this will have to be adjusted on the server and I'll show you that in another video. But just note that if the PAR level is zero, even though you're putting in a handful now, there will never be a refill request to restock this medication. To sign a medication in one of the drawers, click the button, we'll open up the drawer. And there are three types of drawers. There are drawers that do not have lights here on these ribs. There are drawers that do have lights and that's important because the numbering is different. And then there are pockets that have lids on them. Whether they're locking or whether they're not locking it doesn't matter. If they have lids they all are treated exactly the same. So of those three types we're going to start with this open style pocket. These pockets without lights are assigned as such. Once you open the drawer, the video is the machine will ask you which bin are you going to modify. You then look for an empty bin. The bins are all numbered with these sticker numbers, so we will add a drug to bin 21. This bin is empty, no item is assigned. We are going to change that. Enter the bin limit. If you look at this particular style of bin, bin again this is one without the lights on it, there are numbers in the bottom of these bins. And we are looking for the number that is in the back right corner of pocket number 21. In this case it is 46. So this, no, this particular bin stretches from 21 to 46. That prevents us from assigning too many different items to this bin. We choose an item, a Bellify, and we then <clears throat> assign the barcode just like we did into the other area. We take the barcode scanner and we're going to scan pocket number 21's barcode. And we're going to scan it again. And that barcode is now assigned to that pocket. You can then uh, restock this if you like by setting a bin level and it'll allow you to put medications in here from this particular step. Again, notice the PAR level is zero. 
this item will not be refilled. Going to the next style pocket, these are bins that have lights on the spine and the numbering is slightly different. Even though there are numbers that are embedded in the bottom of these pockets, the pockets don't use those numbers for bin assignments. So if we want to assign a drug to pocket 11, we choose 11 and we are going to assign an item. The bin limit number is slightly different. In this case, it's going to be uh, only 11. And what we're basically telling the machine is that this is uh, each of these bins and these lighted open pockets counts as one. This is 11, this is 12, 13, and so forth. So that uh, slightly different. But the barcode is assigned the same way. To assign a pockets with lids, you access that drawer, and once you open the pocket, it then knows which pocket you're in and you can assign your drug from here. Because this one is limited by the lid, there is no barcode required. That is how you load medications that are not in a machine into the three different areas of the machines. Of note, if you are putting in these cabinets a narcotic, you will need to use the drawer type that has these metal lids. Some of them are bigger and some of them are smaller, but these lids do prevent access when, uh, oh, when the nurses get to these drawers. So narcotics and controlled substances need to go in these metal lids, whether they are the larger ones or the smaller ones. And in order to gain access to these locked lids from the modify screen, You simply give a slight tug and you can see what is in that pocket. So if I wanted to look and see what is behind this one, if I tug it sharply, it will then unlock itself and then I can see there's something in that pocket. And that is how you load narcotics. Some drawers have a lot smaller pockets. And if you're looking for drawers that have pockets that are empty, there is a button on the screen that says flash unassigned. And that will allow you to see of these pockets in this drawer, which ones have drugs and which ones do not. This particular pocket does have a drug because it is not flashing. This one does not have an item so we can open it up and then assign our narcotic.